Hi there, it's, yeah, I'm Brian, ZL3 XTG, <clears throat> and uh, hope you're all well. Anyway, a bit, bit wild and windy outside today, so I'm just, um, just in here in the sunroom for the moment. Yeah, I'm just um, making a, a little video in reply to a, um, a couple of emails I got this week, actually. <coughs> uh, one, one was really was really interesting uh, uh, and and uh, I found it a little bit sad in a, in a, in a way because um, I got an email regarding uh, antennas and um, a guy in the UK just sort of getting into radio and uh, amateur radio and things like that and was wondering about antennas and he tried to um, he'd been trying for a while using um, uh, I think it was is it M M M N A or something, some antenna software to try and get um, design or have a look at a, a vertical uh, antenna to go into his small garden, um, and you know just to get started and have a go. And he was he was getting really not getting anywhere. And it just made me think, just made me think a little bit um, that um, yeah, I've been on the radio like like. Uh, like a, like a few people for quite a few years now and I was just thinking back to uh, what what antenna I built what was the first antenna I built and it was it was a vertical actually uh, because I, uh, when I was in England I had access to a couple of trees at the end of the garden I thought a, a vertical wire uh, but it it also made me think that uh, you know back in the day I didn't have a computer um, and uh, I didn't have you know all, all the software to do with antennas I had these days um, uh, just had the odd book here and there to, to rely on and basically I, I thought um, I know everybody says oh here yeah, here we go you know yeah in the old days you know in the old days how it was and all that things have changed but I thought no things haven't changed really it, it, it's simply the base basic simple ideas without without a computer and etc so this is what i'm doing here at the moment um so i'm just trying to remember as it was years ago i've just been looking through the junk box actually <laughs> um to find what i could use for a vertical antenna so i found um a tape measure so i'm gonna go for 20 minutes uh, 20 meters sorry a vertical antenna for 20 meters because uh, 20 seems to be uh, the, the band that's op open the most uh, for a lot of people. It's not a really big antenna and it probably can be stuck anywhere. To, you know, you don't need um, you don't need fancy masks. So as I keep saying, you don't need um, um, amplifiers and balloons and coils and all these things. So I'm, I'm just looking through my box of scrap to see if I can make a simple an a vertical antenna out of basically rubbish, a bit tongue in cheek, uh, and a tape measure. So we're looking at 20 meters, quarter wave on 20, 20 meters, quarter wave, going to be about five meters uh, tall. So let's go for about uh, just just a little bit longer than five meters. So here we've got here. I've got a piece of um, piece of wire here that um, we just found in the. Uh, we just found in the shed out there actually I've cut it to just over five meters this is this is very very basic and very simple I'm just trying to with bits of rubbish I've got see if I can put a vertical antenna up and and actually work um, and actually get a QSO and and actually hopefully get a QSO a DX QSO as everybody knows DX in my book is 10,000 miles or more if you don't you know a vertical basically is a piece of vertical wire uh, uh, coming down the uh, <clears throat> and the coax is uh, the coax is fitted fitted on the uh, on the base of it the center of the coax goes to the vertical piece of wire the ra the radiating piece and the the braid the braid of um, the coax goes to a number of radials that you could um, you could fit around the floor so back to the um, excuse all the, the the bright sunlight and all this going on around the place as I say it's 
a bit of a sunny winter's day but uh, this is just very tongue in cheek what you see is what you get I, I don't go in for all these specialty cameras and everything so anyway so what we've done here we took a piece of wire as I say we've cut it to um, just uh, just over five meters long and we've taken it down to one of these no 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 fancy um <laughs> coax connectors or all these things took it down to one of these um one of these wee i think connector type chocolate blocks or something that pe some people call i'm just looking for a pointer so i brought the uh, brought the radiating element here into one side of it here and the other side comes out to the uh, i'll get a close in here comes out to the the center of the coax which is just down here and the braid goes to the other side of the block and obviously the the coax the coax goes away into the shack and I've got another pile of wire here so I'm not sure how long it is and um, what I'm going to do with that length of wire is uh, I'm going to cut it into probably not a lot of wire so I'll cut it into two meter two meter long lengths for radials and I'll, put, I'll solder all the ends to a wee croc a crocodile clip and then once I get this situated out in the field I'll connect all the radials which will go out from the from the base like this out around the antenna or wherever and I click connect all the radials to the the braid side of the coax simply by putting a a crocodile clip on it as simple as that as simple as that very tongue-in-cheek whether it will work or not I've got no idea we'll just go outside here a wee bit and just I've got a tree I've got a tree right here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, get a piece of string tied to the end of the vertical section throw it over the uh, throw it over the top of the tree uh, it might not be quite tall enough so what I might do is I'll just pull the um, I'll just pull the uh, the wire up and then maybe have to put a bit of a either way a bit of a uh, a bit of an L piece on the top so we'll basically have a piece of wire the radi the five meter going up up the tree uh, and at the base we'll have the quarks coming back to the shack and a few radials and uh, we'll um, we'll plug it in the radio and see see how we see how we get on so here we are in the shack and as it was um, we did manage to get a contact with um, with Mike um, in Germany, Delta Lima One Bravo Juliet Whiskey, and um, a couple of things worked out quite nicely because he was actually uh, he was actually using uh, a very small, similar type antenna to myself uh, in a very small garden, and at the same time he did manage to capture a wee bit of video, which I'll uh, which I'll show you next. So there we go. Quite a quite an interesting day, all in all, from uh, from a few scraps of um, of wire in the uh, in the shed to uh, putting up a very basic <laughs> and very rough looking uh, vertical on twenty meters, without um, we know without previously looking up any uh, reading any books or or software on the internet or uh, buying any you know buying any commercial gear, just very. Very, very simple, very basic, and I was actually only running fifty watts. I was actually only running fifty watts on that uh, on that particular contact. So uh, obviously the antenna is not made to stay outside permanently, but uh, uh, as I say, I was just reverting back to years ago when I was messing about with a couple of bits of wire, and strangely enough, today sort of reenacting what I did thirty-eight years ago 
it, it was um, it was pretty cool. I quite in you know, it, it, you know, because you never know how these things are going to work. If you you know you can go and buy antennas off the shelf and they're pretty much set up to uh, to work you know w work straight away for you. But um, yeah, it was it was it was almost like you know I had that uh, apprehension of uh, you know is it is it going to radiate? Is it going to blow up? <laughs> is it going to stay up the tree in that weird configuration? Uh, was it was it going to get a contact? And when I, when I did it, uh, it, it was it was it was brilliant. You know just. Um, just doing doing away completely without um uh without any you know any software or any reading or all the other information you can get on the internet these days just get a get a few bits of wire and some quarks and just have a have a go and see what happens and as i say the end result in in the end you know 13,000 miles around the world um using low power with a couple of bits of wire um, I just, uh, I just love it. I just love it. I really do. It, um, it really, really made made my day. So, if you if you're wanting to get on the air and uh, you get there's a lot of information out there. If you're getting a bit confused, um, to start, uh, you know, to start off, don't don't rush out and buy that commercial antenna. Don't buy a big amplifier, and uh, spend lots of money on all the. Um, you know, specialized equipment for for testing. I meant to say, by the way, that um, when I checked the SWR, it was about one point seven to one. So we're not going to um, we're not going to worry about that at all. It uh, obviously uh, thirteen thousand miles around the world. It obviously worked without all the test equipment and uh, and everything else that um, you could buy. With, uh, you know, to set up an antenna like that. Anyway, there we go. Hope you uh, <laughs> hope hope you enjoyed it as much as I did because um, yeah, it, it's <laughs> it, I, I really loved it. I really loved doing that. Just getting out with a you know a couple of bits of wire and just a tape measure and just just get out and just have a go and and, and enjoy it and don't worry about all the other. Um, don't worry about you know all the other things you can put on uh, balland and onions and winding coils and and getting getting uh, various test equipment and checking it here and there and everywhere just 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 shot a bit of wire on a tree and and uh, the uh, yeah the, the thrill the thrill I got out of that uh, QSO was 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 really good anyway thanks for watching Sorry, it was all a bit rough and ready, and you know things like this. But it's uh, that that's what I like about, about uh, testing antennas. Just get out there and, and have a go, and uh, what you see is uh, what you see is what you got. Have a go yourself, and uh, give me a call if you can. It'd be great to work it all. Thanks very much for watching. Uh, yeah, I really appreciate it. I'm not thrilled. I'm actually going to watch my own video again. I think seven threes. See you later, guys. Bye bye.